Okay, I am uh, moving into uh, moving out uh, uh, to the chapter of software engineering. Uh, software engineering practices, basically. So what we are looking here is modeling practices, planning practices, uh, design practices, and uh, construction practices. So if you compare two software project, uh, specifically comparing their code base, you'll often see very different level of maturity in software engineering practice employed. But software engineering, we specifically refer to the quality of the code and the amount of technical uh, uh, details present in the project. So that would really uh, be different in uh, different software. So uh, things such as uh, test driven development, domain driven design, behavioral driven development, proper adherence to solid principles all expect at the mature end of the spectrum at other end you would be quick and dirty solutions which are uh, uh, done using uh, access database excel spreadsheet or maybe some quick drag and drop coding and things like that believe that uh, there is time and place for project at every part of sams which is software engineering maturity spectrum uh, with this then remember this keyword uh, software engineering maturity spectrum so the, the risk associated with the under uh, engineering solution have been written about a million times so we don't bother going them into again but uh, there are also unnecessary cost of uh, over engineering a solution sometime putting multiple layers and IIC container abstracting out of persistence is completely overkill Excel could solve the problem perfectly well a lot of software uh, developers we talk seems to be automatically jump to very high right side of the SAMs Everything they do, a common rationale is we hear that it seems like a small trivial application to there, but these things would grow and stick around for years when you are stuck amazing at a big moment. We think that the cop up. So, you sure you cannot always answer how my application would go in the future, but that does not mean you cannot manage it and evolve it underlying principle. Our thoughts are uh, that we should be making a conscious decision around the start of a project approximately where SEMS we want to land at. So, it's all about software engineering maturity spectrum. It's spectrum because we have. Access autonomous view, rapid development tool type, uh, the data set, and here you have TBD, BTD, DDD, ORM, IOC, SOD, etc. So, uh, importance, uh, complexity, and life expectancy. So, uh, uh, obviously, there is room for improvement in how we are doing software to manage. Uh, the event logistics so we have to find out uh, what is the best thing there so importance if application were to stop working business or to halt revenue will come to halt so that might be different it complexity in the case if you need to manage several list of data and link them together precise minimum uh, custom development requirement life about this uh, we are planning to create something used for one event or we are holding that so core principle spectrum of concerns spectrum of concern recognition of the need for human to work with limited context one mind is limited approximately seven units at a time, some units something about the power of single abstraction here. Specifying the behavior of the data structure model, there are two concerns uh, needed. So functionality and support for data integrity. There is another reason why importance of uh, separation of concerns. Software engineering must deal with complex values, attempt to optimize quality of the work. From the study of algorithm, we can learn important lesson. There is often algorithms for optimizing uh, single me uh, measure maturity, but the problem requires optimization of combination of quality is that almost NP complete. So modularity uh, and these are the terms that uh, we would look at. So while developing a software uh, we would like to develop that. If, if I were to apply this uh, to Monte Carlo simulation or some kind of analysis that we do. So uh, we could do that in Excel. We could build a software. We could build an Excel add-in. Or we could uh, just use Excel without any VBA. So depending on the resource and the kind of depth we want to look at, we would rather use that. So we can buy third-party vendor software. We can develop a third-party vendor software internally using C# -sharp or something like that. Or we can do uh, this as well. So modularity, the principle of Mr. Specialized, the principle of separation of concern. Following the principle of implies that separating software into components uh, according to functionality and reason. So modules. If you remember in VBA, you have module one, module two. So that comes from that. Abstraction is other special principle of concern. Following abstraction implies every component. Then you have anticipation of change. A uh, software is automated solution. The problem arises in some context of domain that is familiar to user of software. Domain defined the value of data. Software development the value of technology that will use data in the abstraction way. Working with automated solution is thus learning experience both software developer and the software developers are learning the domain that clients are also learning the of the client from data representation. Clients are learning the range of possible solutions for software technology. Then you have generality, which is closely related to means of anticipation of change. Incremental development, Frawal and Scott, a brief but thoughtful description of incremental software development. 
then you have consistency so those are the things then you have planning practices understand the scope of the work involve the customer recognize uh, the planning is iterative be realistic then you have modeling practices this is the analysis of modeling principle data flow in our system data collectively are information of a function of software data control external event these function need to be well defined software is introduced external event software will be a certain way design modeling principle and then you have constru construction principle from a custom model several defects customer program then you have coding principles don't repeat yourself uh, it's, it's quite interesting thing make the software or do anything but reduce your code size so uh, you know i have been stuck at places where uh, i could use three loops uh, or four loops or use different code but you a cascaded loop uh, to make it smaller the test as you write reduce dependency as much as possible validate your data handle hel handle error nicely keep it simple tidy yourself maintain your flow don't uh, program by coincidence uh, copy entropy so those are the uh, copy entropy thing so com uh, then we have coding concept uh, so printing out the trend that is machine language machine languages are low languages by contrast high level c++ cobol fortran ada java are called compile language the compile language program is more general instruction we can constant compile language interpret languages now the comparison between uh, two different models of programming in structured chain so program structure statement to establish variable and program we have c++ pascal oracle uh, java perl and uh, basic So in finance domain, what I have seen more is C, C++, uh, and Visual Basic in a sense, and uh, Oracle, uh, PL, SQL. So those are the something you will see more often. Then you have testing principle. Uh, good testing. Uh, complete testing is not possible. That's why it's very difficult. Testing is risk-based. Analysis planning is designed for motivation. So that was in very brief about uh, software engineering and things that uh, you should do. The next topic comes.